Welcome, I got a treat for you guys today. I got Brad Elaine with Wildwood Mushrooms with me. And I'm up in Massachusetts. And this is a, one of my students who came out a couple months ago, was interested in mushroom farming. Now he went ahead and got a, what is it, 1,000 square foot facility? About a 1,000 square foot facility in a warehouse. And uh, I helped him with the layout. And now he's in full operation. He's still dialing everything in. I'm up here helping him get all the parameters set up. But uh, yeah, Brad, why don't you go ahead and, and show us uh, what what your workflow is like here? So, so this is the this is the batch mixer. Okay. So I come in, bring the the pellets of soybean hull and uh, hardwood pellets, and dump it right in the top. Mm -hmm. um, start mixing. This is a pack, uh, one yard batch mixer. Okay. And you made this nice little bagger down here. So this is a tube bagger set up, I guess, pneumatic arm. Mm -hmm. um, pretty straightforward. The mm -hmm. tube is uh, about a little over two gallons, so that that's a good volume for the 10-pound bag. Yeah, and he's so, using the XL bags from Unicorn. So uh, dump in the substrate. I have a water flow meter right over here. Yep, just like my op. Yep. And then Much uh, bigger, though. you just dial in whatever uh, volume you want, you want, and then it turns on. Okay. And you got the spray nozzles up there to spread the water out, keep the dust down. All right, so then from there it gets bagged up and it goes into your proofer, right? Yep. So Brad made a, took an old rolling proofer and we're pumping steam into it. And he, took, he got with Bubba's barrels and he got this guy. How many watts is that? 11,000. 11,000 watts. And I just, I just rigged him up with the digital controller so that way it'll run the process on its own and he could just set it and forget it kind of and it's a reliable system and you can see it's actually steaming right now there's there's some steam puffing out of that corner um but yeah this is his lab so why don't you show us more of your lab what you got going on in here so you got so HEPA modules HEPA modules the the bags on the left the sterilized bags okay spawn them and then okay. i have a vertically mounted uh impulse healer okay you like, you like that setup opposed to being on the table yeah it takes up less uh square footage and it increases the uh, the air inside the bag so it mixes way easier. Okay, and then from there it goes into this guy? And then it goes into the uh, dryer slash mixer. Okay, and what, so you just have it to where it has one arm on there. There's only one, one, uh, fin. Yep. one fin. Okay, so that way it just tumbles it every time yep. it hits that and kind of knocks it around, mixes in the spawn. And then it gets racked up okay. on a rolling rack. More of these guys, which would be behind, behind us right here typically is where, right? Or you put it over here. Somewhere over, Somewhere over here. Yeah, okay. And then it goes to incubation. Which is right, right and your batch size is about 120 bags, right? Something like that, yeah. 120 10 pounders. Then it goes to incubation. So he just worked on this incubation. Uh, before it was just plastic, and now he went and got some one inch foam and put some fans in. And uh, what else do we do this weekend? Uh, the heater. So we have a heater in there now, and, and that's getting dialed in. So right now it's at 70, 72, um, before it was at what, like 60 something, right? Low 60s, Low yeah. 60s, so the bags weren't incubating right, weren't colonizing right, but uh, the latest batch, well, dude, this was yesterday, this was, was it? That was a few days ago, yeah. Yeah, but yesterday it was like a little spotty, and now it's almost 100%, so yeah. I don't know if you can see that's kind of dark in here, but uh, these are only inoculated three or four days ago, and the, the spawn is blasting off of them. They're looking great. Um, so yeah, so from here, you incubate however many weeks depending on the strain, and then let's show them your fruiting chamber. So Fru the racks fruiting get room. rolled out this way. Okay. And then go into the fruiting rooms. Okay, and you need a conduit. And you got it pretty braced up. It's pretty sturdy. I, I was actually standing on this yesterday. Uh, so for those top racks, you can climb up there or, or put a, a rolling step, step ladder or something like that. And uh, what do you have? What are these right here? Those are uh, Italian oysters. Italian Phoenix oysters. oysters. Okay. Yeah. And then you're doing some some gray oysters down here, I see. Yeah. And uh, for the airflow, fresh air you got a fresh air. That's what that that's pumping from from my window, correct? Yeah. And you got an IF6 on that. And that's the plug. There's two rooms, two identical rooms. And then you have a passive intake with a screen and this hurricane fan. And that's the what? That's a 10 inch hurricane and then just a mini fogger. So tell us about what happened with the, the, the mini fogger and the cat. 
So, so the mini fogger, the size that I purchased, uh, if you have the cap on it, it restricts the humidity out a little bit. Yeah, there's, so I just took the cap off. There's a cap with like a little vent thing, and it it kind of it's it's meant to keep down the particles, but it it cuts your volume in half. So. He was having issues with the humidity staying up, and now it's perfect. Now it's staying well, like 90, 80 something. Uh, yeah. Not too hard to dial in. And uh, for circulation up top, what he did was just put some ceiling fans, and he stripped them so that way the uh, I'm getting all wet. <laughs> he stripped them so that way he could clean the fins easily um, as needed. So, well, yeah, man, thanks for having us out here. Um, really love the grow. I love the the layout and the carts and all that, how everything moves around. Uh, and yeah, I think you're gonna be set up in the next like, you know, w once you get this all dialed in, you're gonna be, a, it's gonna be a really impressive operation. So if anybody's interested in taking my hands-on class, uh, email me, I have a month, there, uh, one, one every two months, I might change it as time comes. And uh, yeah, just email me with questions about the class and Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Check out Wildwood Mushrooms on Instagram, Facebook. What? Instagram, Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. What, uh, wildwoodmushrooms.com. Okay, and if you're if you're in the area, uh, try to try to find some mushrooms of his locally. You know, go to the farmers market, see where he's at. So support your local farmers. All right, take it easy and keep on mushrooming.